Um, so uh, yeah, let's do this thing. Let's make a website right friggin' now. Yeah? Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, I'll, that will come on, a little bit, a little bit of enthusiasm. I'm trying to bring you enthusiasm. Please bring this enthusiasm back. Hey! Oh, fantastic. Okay, hi. Uh, my name's Lemon. Uh, I make websites. Hi. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I make, uh, as I'm assuming some of you do, I make websites for money. Um, some of them are made a recipe aggregator for a multinational food corporation. It's up to you to guess. I know I've been very sly about what multinational food corporation that would be. Um, uh, I've made a uh, ticket exchange for a professional hockey team um, and a uh, health and frequency reporting uh, uh, for national chain of fitness centers. Again. These companies are very hard to guess what they might be. Um, and those were good. Uh, those were uh, projects where I was working with uh, teams of smart people. Uh, those were projects where I learned from smart people. And those were projects where um, we did good stuff. Um, and also, I got paid money for them. So that was great. Uh, I've also done websites for fun. Um, and I'm going to give you a couple examples here. Uh, I made a site called Damn Dog. Uh, which is a site that, uh, it's a game that shows you a WikiHow drawing and asks you to guess the article they came from. Um, here's one example. Uh, probably a little hard to see, but your options are, so this is an actual WikiHow picture, uh, and your options are how to become a pastafarian, how to tell a girl you like her, um, how to motivate yourself, or how to be a good wife. Any guesses? What article? What article? Think how to be a good wife? No, that is how to tell a girl you like her. That is the wrong way to tell a girl that you like her. That's why there's an X. Bad. Um, uh, so that, that was a lot of fun. We're going to do just one more round there. Um, OK, well, that's weird. Uh, let's find out what that is. So that is how to get over writer's block, how to get nervous. Oh, I'm sorry, how not to get nervous, how to refuse a kiss, or how to make someone feel better via text message. You think first one, how to get over writer's block. OK. It is how to get over writer's block. Well done. Well done. Um, uh, so, uh, so that's Damn Dog. Uh, that was a lot of fun to make. Uh, I've kind of like done different versions of it, uh, but it was um, an enjoyable thing. Um, uh, another one I did uh, kind of recently was uh, called Great Sex Dot Tips. I'm not going to go to that one because while it is fun, it can be dirty on occasion. Uh, but it's an advice site that procedurally generates Cosmo style sex tips of questionable value. And they are questionable value. Um, so, for example, um, tip number 1947 give him the time of his life. Hide a, hide a bundle of lit bottle rockets in his hair gel. When he finds it, initiate the rapture and ironically be the one left behind. Um, this is a site that, uh, yeah, procedurally generates uh, so the couple million derivations of uh, different sex tips um, uh, because Cosmo's silly. Um, uh, and finally, uh, there is uh, one of the most uh, stunning pieces of, of tech that I've ever done. Uh, it's called party, 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 dot party. Um, and what it is, it's a button that helps you party. So, oh, wait. Oh, I had sound. Well, I had sound. All right, you know what? Party, 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 dot party is also a progressive web app. So, uh, so it's because uh, somebody wrote to me and he said, Lemon, uh, I'm, I'm in the UP and I don't have uh, internet. Uh, and I can't play party, 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 dot party. I was like, oh, let me help you with that. So I made a progressive web app. So no matter where you are, internet connection or no, uh, you can still play party, 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 party. And once you get up to maximum party. Party, party, party. Yeah. Uh, so that's party, 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 dot party. Um, and I've learned things from both of these. Um, the, the, the talks for money, uh, or sorry, the, uh, the, the websites that I made for money um, were great. Uh, the websites that I made for uh, myself were also great. I've learned things from both of those situations. Um, from, the, uh, from the bigger sort of like big software architecture kind of things, the complex systems make for complex solutions. I know that um, my own self, when I'm thinking about like, you know, CSS variables or like classes to put on things. I spend a little bit of time obsessing over those things. How will that kind of thing scale? Um, thinking about um, 
that page load, and when that page load happens, like, okay, well this happens now, which is cool, but what happens when we throw a bunch of crap on top of it? And thinking about those things, and that's super duper duper interesting to think about. It's super helpful to think about, and when you're in a professional capacity, it is stuff that you should think about. But when you're going the other way, when you're thinking about a tight scope, when you're thinking about a site that's just a piece of HTML, some CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript to make it going, you've got these tight scopes and allow you to think about things differently. It allows you to take pieces of tech that maybe are interesting hypothetically, but like, are you gonna do a to-do app? Sure, but are you really gonna be excited about finishing your to-do app? If you are, great. Uh, I try to think about like the tech that I wanna kinda use and the idea that I wanna carry forth and let those things go in tandem. Let those, uh, let the scope define what's going on. Um, so I had a couple ideas, uh, because we wanted to build a website right friggin' now. Um, and so I had a couple ideas. I'm gonna run these by you, uh, and tell me what you think. Um, so the first of them is Urban Dictionary Jeopardy. Uh, Urban Dictionary, of course, is a site of very little value, um, and it is a definition of terms. So we were going to just give you a term and have you Tell me, what is the ambient force between bros that lends toward high five smoking bowls, beer, and touchdowns? Bro spirit, bro bite, bro sor, or bro essence. Source from Urban Dictionary, any guesses? Bro spirit is the correct answer, fantastic. Uh, but then I was spending a little bit of time on Urban Dictionary, like mining for material, and I was like, this site is not really interesting enough to do that. So instead, we're gonna move on to uh, an idea called Wyatt Cokes Taylor. Now, I know some people are necessarily not uh, from this country, uh, but we have, in this country, uh, the Coke family. Uh, and the Coke family has an heir by the name of Wyatt Coke. Wyatt Coke is an heir to uh, trillions of dollars, that's an estimate, um, and he spends his money um, making a brand of shirts, and they look like this. So that's Wyatt Coke uh, wearing uh, his own shirts, and I was like, well, that's kind of fun. Like, you're, you're, you're super fun. I mean, these are like $200, but like, I think we could probably procedurally generate shirts of this same general quality. So this is a, sort of a mock-up that I did of, of, a, of a Wyatt Coke shirt, and, and <laughs> I was like, well, that, I, that joke's about as strong as that slide is really what that is. So I got, I got another idea, uh, Hollywood Court Reporter. This is something I've been kicking around for a little while. Um, so this is an idea where what we would do is we would present you uh, an actor, um, and then we would ask you what was the, what was the reason he was arrested for that year. So there's AJ from The Sopranos. Uh, <laughs> the options are illegal gambling, armed robbery, bootlegging, and racketeering. Guesses? Guesses? Armed robbery is the correct answer. Uh, he was also uh, arrested for uh, uh, illegal gambling, but that was the different year. Um, anyway, that one also felt a little bit thin. I did get, I did get excited about this one, though. Uh, what's Elon Musk launching into space right now? So I think what we would do is we would uh, go through uh, the uh, Amazon API and find expensive stuff and then launch it into space. Um, so I made a little bit of an interface. Uh, this is the Sojourner keyboard. Uh, some details about the Sojourner keyboard, obviously some, uh, some, some uh, pictures of the keyboard itself. And this keyboard, actually on Amazon right now, will cost you $1,000. Also like 62 million in launch cost, but $1,000. Um, but we're not gonna do any of those because I have another idea. So here's what we're gonna make. I wanna make a website that can help you win internet arguments. People get into fights on the internet all the time, and the thing is, somebody's obviously wrong, and it can't be you, because you're smart. So what you need is you need to have the data to back up the fact that you are smart and that other people are wrong, and I wanna provide you with that data. Now, of course, you know, you could go to, like, like census surveys and try to find the data that actually matches, but, like, a, that's hard, and B, what if you find out you're wrong when you're researching? That would suck. You want to be right the whole time. So uh, what we're going to do here uh, is we're going to uh, create, uh, create some tech to prove how right you are. So uh, our tech here, uh, I got a stack, uh, Pug, SAS, uh, Vue, Chart.js, uh, then a uh, sort of a Vue version of the Chart.js library. Uh, random color, which is just an algorithm that makes a random color that's nice and pretty. Uh, and moment.js, because I didn't want to work with dates. That seemed annoying. 
Um, if your stack in any way is different than mine, cool, awesome, that's great. Uh, people that uh, bully other people in those stacks should be ignored at all costs. Um, we also have some tools, uh, brackets, pre-process, uh, fire, I actually did do this in Chrome instead, uh, but uh, brackets, pre-process, uh, Firefox, and GitHub Desktop. Um, again, these are actually less popular tools. Um, I don't like the command line, and so I end up doing, uh, pre-process is basically um, like a gulp, except for it's gulp as a UI, uh, and I like it. Uh, if you uh, do something else, awesome, that's great. Uh, code kit's cool too. Um, so uh, let's get coding. Okay, so I wanna show you uh, what we have uh, right at this moment, okay? So, so here's what we have, uh, and this is a site that's going to prove that you're right. So you're gonna say, show me, and then we have some pre-built variables that we can kind of fill this in a little bit later, but we have uh, show me that there's slightly more sites built with Ruby than built with Node, built with PHP, built with Net, and, and that's it. Okay, so let's do that thing. Oh, well, wow, I'm right. Except for, I mean, this is actually, okay, we should switch these things, because this is uh, kind of a .NET-y kind of environment, so let's just get um, .NET nice and high, and uh, built with rocks, and yeah, and there we go. Now there's way more things built with .NET. You can take this around. You can show people how the language that you like is right. And we can also just get rid of some of these uh, comparisons if we want to. Uh, no problem at all. Um, so we have a pie chart. Uh, that's not the only thing we have uh, because um, I was reading a uh, thing recently that uh, pie charts are a uh, bad determination of showing uh, verifiable data. And I was like, that sounds fine. <laughs> um, uh, we've also got uh, a line chart. So show me a sharp increase in conference hangovers over the last, well, we shouldn't go six months. That's a lot of conference hangovers. Let's just bring that down to uh, two weeks of conference hangovers. Okay, prove I'm right. Excellent. Uh, so there we go. Our conference hangovers are increasing. Uh, congratulations to all of us. I think we're really putting in the work. And like any um, uh, really good chart that you should trust, you'll notice that there's an x-axis, but no y-axis, because we don't need that. That would clutter things up. What is this point? This point is 400 units. <laughs> that doesn't matter. We have the trend. Um, so we can move that out to, you know, over the last 20 years. Um, uh, and I got uh, two more, two more uh, things I want to show you because we can do a comparative uh, analysis. Um, so I want you to prove to me that as Instagram use goes up, Facebook use goes down. Uh, then we can do that. Or we can just have them like go up at the same time. Yeah, good. Okay, that's pretty much. Or we can just have one like fluctuate and see what that, oh, well that's very informative. Like, like a VP could talk a, like for 40 minutes straight on this chart and people would listen to him. Um, there's another one uh, that I was, I, this, is a, this is a big deal for me, this, this talk, and, and I, was, I was really excited about it, but I was kind of nervous about like the other people that were in the other room, the other people I was presenting about. I wasn't so sure uh, how this is gonna go, so I made a chart to make myself feel better and so I want you to show me there's a huge amount of people in my room. Uh, there's only some people in Trent's room. There's not a lot of people in Heidi's room. Uh, there's no people over, sorry about that. There's actually no people over there, apologize. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is great. Uh, congratulations, I can look at this and I can make myself feel a little bit better. Um, and that's what we have. Now what we, now what we have at this point is something that is uh, totally unfinished. Uh, but we've got uh, some pieces. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to um, make it so now, uh, rather than actually changing the code, it's going to randomly generate this thing. Um, but presumably someone would want to like toggle between what kind of chart to lie with. So let's make a, let's make a, you wanna make a navigator for that? Okay, let's do that. Uh, so, we're gonna do here is let's put this in here, and um, so you can see here this is uh, this is the pug structure. Um, it's all indentation based. If you're familiar with Hamel, uh, it's very similar. Uh, and then we're gonna do a button v 
before uh, uh, type in all chart types uh, and then v on click equals uh, chart type equals uh, type. Uh, cool. All right. Now, oh, we forgot to include. I say we. <laughs> um, uh, I forgot to include the actual type of the button. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, now we got a thing that will uh, allow me to switch between. I broke it already. Um, the on click chart. Oh, there we go. Camel case, not. Okay. Hey, now we can switch back and forth between these things. Uh, that's cool, but obviously our call to action is a little bit confused here. So I'm just going to move um, this thing. I'm going to call this section uh, type buttons. And we're going to move that thing over into the side. Um, I use a lot of... Uh, kind of mix-ins um, for these different projects, try to like hold on to mix-ins to just copy through from, uh, from project to project. So we're gonna use one here of uh, position fixed, and then no, uh, zero, zero. So that way we're setting both our position fixed as well as our, um, uh, as well as our uh, top, bottom, left, right. Okay, cool. Uh, that's good, except for those buttons are still kind of ugly. So let's make those background white, font size, eh, 14 pixels. Um, that didn't work. Um, all right, well, this is a uh, site that we are making fast, and that means that it's no problem to just use important. <laughs> hey, there we go, fantastic. All right, uh, border color, let's make that black. And let's just keep using that word important because our rules are very important over here. Okay, fantastic, so now we can switch back and forth between those things. Um, we should actually make that not fixed, but absolute, so that it doesn't stick to um, the side of the screen when you don't want it. Um, okay, so now uh, we've got something that we can uh, switch back and forth between our type. Um, we're gonna get to uh, the point that we actually need to launch this thing. Um, so that's exciting, and DNS propagation takes a little bit. So. Um, as we're stepping into this next thing here, uh, I'm going to go to Cloudflare, uh, and I'm going to set this thing up. Uh, GitHub just recently um, started doing something where you can now get HTTPS if you do a uh, GitHub-level domain. They just started doing that, um, and I haven't tested that fact. Um, so uh, I'm actually going to go through uh, Cloudflare for two reasons. Uh, I like the free HTTPS, and also uh, that propagation happens a lot faster. Um, so our site is called verifiable.win, and we need to set this thing up here. Yep. Uh, no, that's, we are on free. <laughs> you, you need to understand how much I care about this. Okay, so fantastic. Um, that all looks right. Good. Okay, and then we just need to go and copy uh, our name records. Um, from the domain into the Cloudflare. Um, sweet. Uh, here you see a lot of dumb domains that I have. <laughs> uh, I have a one every like two months, and then my goal is, is I never, I don't want to squat. So like I'm gonna buy the domain, and then I'm gonna try to figure out what to do with it after that point. Okay, so we need to change our DNS records, which should be right over here. Uh, nope, that's not it. I knew that would happen. <laughs> All right. We're good. We're good.
Is this making sense at this point? Okay, cool. I know it's, uh, I sit in these two and, and sometimes it's kind of difficult to figure out like, like how that uh, flow of communication is gonna go um, back and forth. And also, knowing that of course there's going to be weird network errors because you're live coding, you're an idiot. Um, and that's true, but that's what we signed up for. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> you need to. Um, well, oh God, thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, no, we were as, uh, acceptable fun was something that I did for another talk. It was uh, a site that was uh, all boring toys for children. Um, there we go, okay, custom DMS. Now we're just gonna copy that stuff over into there. Um, and then go, fantastic, okay. So that says it's gonna take 48 hours, but that's not really true. Um, now the very last step we need to do, uh, I don't know um, how many of you have tried to do kind of stuff without a server behind it, um, but the thing that's nice is that as long as you can do um, something that doesn't have a backend, something that doesn't have SQL, something that doesn't have PHP or, or, or whatever, um, you can just throw that thing up on GitHub. Um, and that's incredibly, incredibly, incredibly valuable and surprising because you can just kind of like have your static sites. Um, Damdog, the one I was showing earlier, uh, was a site that was at one point discovered by PewDiePie. Uh, and if you know who PewDiePie is, that meant that there was a crazy spike in traffic. And I only noticed it like two weeks later because I was like, oh, what's going on? Oh, hey, what's the spike in traffic? Um, and if that was a server that I, man that I maintained, uh, that would have been annoying. I would not have loved to, br to bring on the brunt of that traffic. Uh, but because it wasn't, it was just um, hosted on GitHub, I didn't really have to care. Um, so we're gonna take uh, GitHub pages coming out of the master source uh, and while I'm at it, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this public. Verifiable, uh, oh, uh, uh, that thing, thank you. All right, so now we have a public repo. Uh, we gotta host it on GitHub pages, and then we're gonna need to do this part as well. Um, so at this point, um, and it's gonna take some time, so I'm hoping by the end of this talk, I'm hoping by the end of this talk, uh, we will have, um, we'll have a, uh, a working domain hooked up to this thing. Um, but we've got a public URL, uh, so if anyone is interested, uh, github.com slash ahoylemon slash verifiable dot win uh, is how you get to this uh, repo. Um, so, okay, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things that we can do here. I kind of left it a little bit uh, open-ended. Um, there's, there's the thought of, okay, so, so I've done this thing. I've, I've proven just how incredibly, incredibly popular my talk is. <laughs> no, I didn't, in this case. Uh, hey, there we go. Um, so I, I've proven uh, how much marijuana in use has increased uh, over these times. It's very shocking. Um, but what I haven't done is I haven't allowed uh, a good way to share this. Uh, because, you know, you're in that internet fight. You need to win your internet fight. So how do we do this? So there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, our chart is coming out of a canvas element, which means that we can just save that canvas element as a ping, uh, and then you can do that. You can put that in your tweet and be like, look, right. Uh, we could also have a screenshot of it, but I think that the, the, the canvas element might be the way to go. Do you wanna just like make it so we can just like tweet out a ping of how damn right you are? Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes. All right, so, um, so we're gonna go in here uh, and I'm gonna make a button. We're gonna eventually fix this. Uh, so this is a download. I should probably make that a little bit bigger. I'm sorry, I didn't think about that. Is that okay? Okay, great. Uh, and we got a download chart button. Uh, okay, good, okay, now uh, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, fix that over to the side here. Um, download chart. And again, we're gonna, gonna just uh, position this into place. Um, one of the things about 
like this kind of layout is that at the point that um, at the point that you have something where um, Um, at the point that you have something where it's not, um, there's not a lot of information that needs to be brought onto the screen, um, then you can move these things around a lot easier. Um, okay, so. What's up? Thank you. Oh, totally. Yes, yes. All right, there we go. Now we got our download chart button. Uh, we could probably make that just a slightly prettier. Uh, color blue, uh, border one pixel solid, uh, blue, background, white, font size. Hey, okay, cool. All right, now uh, we got a button. It doesn't do anything yet. Uh, but that's no problem because um, there's a bunch of ways to do this. Uh, I found a library uh, last night that just made it a little bit faster. Uh, so there's a thing called Canvas 2 Image. Uh, so I just included that in my um, in my uh, view structure. So now we've got uh, a method down here uh, called Download Canvas. Uh, that's going to ask for a width, a height, and a file name. Um, so we're going to put that over here. Um, and the on click download canvas. Uh, and then we're going to go, I don't think I actually want to specify file names right away. Um, we'll see if we need one. Uh, but our file is going to be called proof because we've got proof. Uh, of how right we are. All right. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is going to work. Hey! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's not get too excited. Let's not get too excited. We haven't looked at it yet. All right. All right. We got a couple things that we can think about here. Um, one of those things is that um, uh, that we could uh, annotate this thing, and we could invent like fake sources. Um, we could also like allow you a little bit more fine-tuned control, so that you you know if you wanted to lie a little bit more particularly. Um, there's a bunch of options there, uh, but I think that I think that one thing that we should probably think about at this point is if your Getting into a fight on the internet, um, you're probably doing it on your phone, um, and we're not really mobile responsive for that. So let's make this a little bit more phone friendly. Um, so we're going to scroll this down to here. Now that's actually okay, I think. Um, it's not the most amazing, um, but I think that we can. Uh, I think that we can improve this a little bit. So uh, I got my breakpoint down here. Um, and uh, in that intro, we're just going to make that thing a little bit bigger. Oops, that's not bigger. That's bigger. Now well, we're getting right. Center. Hey, there we go. Okay, fantastic. Um, so at that point, you can scroll in that. We'll do it. We'll do a little bit of padding down here on the bottom, just so we don't have that uh, that uh, menu of bars happening underneath the um, uh, happening over the selections. Selections. Scroll in there. Good. Yeah. All right. That seems fine. That seems fine. 
Okay, and now we've got uh, this thing going on. We don't have our, oh, because we're, we're floating the hardware to the side. So uh, we're gonna leave that thing over on the top and just gonna go in to uh, the main here and, and kill that uh, padding over on mobile. Back into there. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, now we've got a, a decent way, a decent way to lie on our phones. Um, now there's uh, there's some uh, preview stuff that we have here. So when we're coming into um, when we're coming into uh, these first um, this first screen, um, there's a couple things that I can do for figuring out uh, what kind of thing you want to prove. Uh, and those things are going to come preloaded. So, so let's look over here at this uh, variable. And what what kind of things what kind of things do you want to prove that you're right about? Anything? Oh, come on, give me something. <laughs> What's that? The world is flat. Okay, fantastic. Um, so we're going to um, let's see. That's that would be. I think that would be best in uh, a line comparison. Okay, so then we can not only prove that, but we can also prove the opposite of it. So what we can say is, uh, uh, we can say uh, that we're gonna have a comparison between people who think the world is flat and dumb people. So now, uh, we'll for, go ahead and force our, um, let's go ahead and force our, uh, our comparative line. Oh, we didn't have to do that because, yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, so now that we go into here, um, lines. Uh, okay, income error goes up, happiness, uh, Instagram. Oh, we've got too many of these. All right. So, we commented a couple of these here. Uh, and then we're guaranteed to get that. Okay, so people who think the world is, prove that as people who think the world is flat goes up, dumb people goes down. So now, fantastic, now we have the ability to say, hey, look, man, there's less dumb people in the world. I know, I know, look around, it's so obvious, but there's less dumb people in the world, and the people who think that the world is that, that's gone up. And then uh, the only problem is that the next person uh, can then go in and uh, just change the chart around. And, but he'll also be right. He'll also be right, and he'll know that. And I'm saying he, and I'm right in saying he. <laughs> um, there's a couple things that we, uh, we're gonna wanna do as we're gonna give this thing um, up and live. Um, uh, there's, some, um, there's some progressive web app stuff that we can do, um, which I think is uh, uh, very cool and useful. I know there was a talk about progressive web apps uh, earlier, um, and that's great. Uh, that's something I don't have enough time to scope that in. So instead, I'm just going to get a little bit of open graph uh, and a little bit of fav icon stuff here. So, um, so I've got uh, my open graph image right over here, uh, right there. Verifiable win, the site the proof. So then, every time somebody is tweeting that link, uh, we can pull that in. Uh, and uh, in order to get the code for that, I'm simply just going to literally steal it from another website. <laughs> Uh, because if you do a lot of uh, small, dumb scope websites, then uh, it becomes very easy to just take from yourself. Um, and then hopefully you can um, learn from yourself at the same time, too. So, um, make a partial here. Um, Partial here called, uh, let's call it meta. And we've got some uh, metadata here for, 
uh, Twitter, and then the open graph. Um, I'm assuming you're familiar with that, and if not, that's cool. Uh, but um, now we're just going to include that partial up in here. Pug. Fantastic. All right. Cool. So now I've got uh, now I've got uh, those kind of things, and I can test that uh, once we once our site is actually launched, we can test that up against the uh, Open Graph tests and the Twitter tests uh, to make sure that those things uh, pull in right. Um, always a good idea to kind of like include those Open Graph width and heights because Open Graph is a little bit too open, and so you know Facebook will want to do one thing. Like Reddit will want to do another thing, Pinterest will want to do a terrible thing, and they just and they when they find images, they go, "Hey, an image! I can crop it." And they don't care about you; they just care about the crop lines. Um, there's uh, there's one thing we are missing here, though, for sure, uh, and we are missing. Um, oh, we don't have a Twitter URL. Let's get that in there. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have a site URL. Let's fix that. Oh, and it should actually be called verifiable win. Um, hey, there we go. Okay, so uh, there's another thing that we need to be doing here, uh, which is obviously uh, we need to get that fave icon in. Um, so um, again, I have a um, a little uh, piece of um, a little piece of fave icon source, basically just 300 by 300 pixels. And what I'm going to do here, uh, and I could not recommend this site more highly, uh, it's called Real Fave Icon Generator. Um, so essentially, uh, what you can do is um, you give it your uh, source image. So in this case, it's not a verifiable win. Um, So we're going to give it the source image, uh, and then that site is going to parse out a whole bunch of fave icon stuff that's not fun to think about, um, because everything has a really, really different stack. Um, obviously, uh, Apple has uh, this, this thing, so we're just going to make that. Um, if you end up in, in a situation where um, you want to make uh, the app look different um, in uh, Android. Um, you can kind of drop in your own pictures. Um, I'm thinking that's fine. Um, and then this, let's make that a Windows. Hey, that is the most trustworthy site I can think of right there. That looks real good. Oh, and then this, oh, that's even more trustworthy. Look at that. Now that's on your touch bar, and you're like, <laughs> like, what's that? Is that a security thing? Like, yeah, of course it's a security thing. It proves how right I am. Um, uh, we can version that thing down. Um, we can just pick a scaling algorithm uh, just to kind of get that uh, rendered down. Um, that site's now going to dump me this. Um, so at this point now, I've got a package of assets. I've also got a little bit of meta code that I can throw in there. Um, the same. Uh, I think it's one guy. The same guy that's doing this is also doing a um, uh, social uh, one that will generate. Oops. Okay, good. Um, gonna download our fave icon package. Um, so he does a, a social package too. Um, uh, I'm just gonna convert that to pug. Excellent. Okay, cool. So, oops. So, throw that up in my meta. Uh, now, I've got myself, oops, as soon as I unzip this, into root. Hey, there we go. Okay, fantastic. So now, uh, if we actually just refresh on source, um, 
Oh, this was the point that I was going to say that we <laughs> we have our uh, our fave icon, which we do. But I'm going to just trust that that's going to happen. I think that the the preprocess thing is not bringing that into the browser, uh, but I do have faith. <laughs> I do have faith that that's going to happen. Um, so now we've got our uh, we've got our social stuff. We've got our fave icon stack. Um, we've got um, uh, the ability to download those images and share them. Um, any other thoughts? Any other thoughts? Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, so. Sometimes the jokes are just free. Um, so, you know, the live coding thing offers like a, a bunch of unfortunate situations where you just have to type. Um, and it's uh, something to look through. Um, so now we've got our situation where we can uh, we can prove you're right in a bunch of different ways. Um, I want to take myself off of Wi-Fi and find out if we have launched our website. Um, I don't know because it does take a little bit of time to process through that process through that DNS, the cloud server, the Cloudflare servers are really, really pretty damn fast, uh, so it can kind of pick up on that thing uh, pretty quickly, uh, but it doesn't, um, doesn't look like we're there yet. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so our Cloudflare says we're active. Uh, that is not propagated through to my phone, but it means that it's on its way. So that's cool. Uh, so that does actually mean um, that, in a real manner of speaking, um, we have launched a website. Um, I get very giddy about that kind of thing. I do, because, um, because I've, I've been doing this particular kind of thing for, um, for a lot of years. Um, and I've been making um, uh, okay. I've been making a lot of uh, sites using various technologies and, and, and meeting a lot of like really fun and interesting people, and I get really excited about that. I think that I think that this tech community, and by this tech community, I mean the global tech community, the people that you meet in the halls and stuff like that, is so cool to meet. But but. But the thing about those large structured things is they can get a little behind. You lose that excitement when you're spending two years on a software project. You can lose that excitement about like what was fun about this. That's why I continue to do this stuff. I think it's really, really fun to make a website. And if you can make a website cheaply, then you don't have to care when people come up and say like, why don't you monetize this thing? Because I don't need to. I can spend literally $20 on a domain, that's my only cost, and I can just do this thing for fun. I wrote the slides beforehand, <laughs> so hopefully this is accurate. Um, but uh, our site is launched, uh, verifiable.win. It's launched in a certain, uh, certain sense, but I think that probably about an hour from now, I'm guessing you can probably pull this up on your phone um, and be, Okay, uh, our, our repo is public. Um, uh, we got github.com, uh, ahoy lemon, verifiable win. Submit some pull requests, like go ahead. Um, I'll happily take this kind of stuff. I, I, I like uh, working through these ideas and kind of like making this thing a little bit more fun. Um, if you wanna fork it and make a thing where you uh, use a different charting library or lie in a different way, like that's fantastic too. Please go ahead and do that. I'd love to commit to your repo as well. Um, Dex public too, uh, right up there. Don't bother submitting pull requests on that. I don't, I don't think we need to submit some pull requests. Uh, let's be friends. Uh, I'm available on Twitter, GitHub, CodePen, uh, ahoylemon.xyz, uh, and you can always buy me a beer. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very much.
Oh, and they, they asked me to say that um, uh, there's the, the cards, the cards over there. Um, have you ever seen In the Name of the Rose? No, it's a, it's a uh, but they, they, they poisoned, um, they poisoned both the red and the yellow cards. So if you get, if you get it on your, like, I don't know what'll happen. I did just told me they were poison. The green cards are totally fine though. They're really good. Thanks everyone.